But the thing that then struck me was actually history has had a big effect on a lot of the writing oh, and yes. work you've done. Oh, yes, yeah. I, was my f I mean, along with English, really, at school, history was my big thing. I, I still remember doing villains mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the Anglo-Saxons uh, and the Romans. And it was a, you know, I've just always been really interested. Most of my Doctor Who's are historical because I've always had a kind of affinity for different periods and everyone has a favorite and things like that but I just I love getting I love doing the research I love soaking up the atmosphere of things and the way people spoke and little verbal ticks and little catchphrases and the way that things just disappear from history as well I, th I find so interesting um, and, and, I, and, and, we, and I, it's a bit like the way your palette changes you kind of have your I've always been very interested in the Victorians and mm. high gothic horror and everything but you kind of get a I know you. You know your, your flavor. The flavors change, and a lot of stuff that I didn't used to be interested in at all has, has sort of changed, come back. I'm I'm, I'm really obsessed with post-war England, Ooh. Britain these days. Atlee's Britain, I find mesmerizing mm -hmm. and underdone. I love under-explored mm. periods of history. Yeah, yeah, you're in good company with the, <laughs> my passion for the poor old Anglo-Saxons. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the B squad of history. <laughs> <laughs> um, Have a day. <laughs>